Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 23rd of 2020. Well, it is titled globular star cluster NGC 6752. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a globular star cluster, some of the oldest objects that we know of in the universe. And these date back very, very far. They're very old and they're composed primarily now, of course, of very old stars. So they are parts of our galaxy. They're actually in the halo of our galaxy. So dating back to the earliest times of the origin of our galaxy. So a way to be able to study a little bit, perhaps, what our galaxy was like like long ago. And one of the things we find with globular clusters is that they are scattered spherically around our galaxy. So that even though our galaxy is flattened into a flat disk, the globular clusters tell us that at one point long ago, our galaxy must have been more spherical. And these are a remnant of that. Now within this we see a lot of of course we see stars hundreds of thousands of stars and this is actually the third brightest globular cluster visible from the earth. One of the other interesting things about it is that we notice within these globular clusters stars that should not exist there. We call these blue straggler stars and what that means is that they are too massive and too blue to still exist based on the age of the cluster. So if these cluster stars all form together as we believe, these stars should have long since evolved and should be gone by now. So the fact that we actually see them is of a question as to why these stars still occur occur. And of course, one of the things that might happen is that these stars, the density of stars is very high here. And while we usually don't talk about stars colliding, you could have stars merging together. So two small stars that could actually merge together and make a much bigger star. And that could be one way to account for the fact that we see these stars that should not be able to exist in a cluster this old. Now there is one prominent blue star uh, towards the upper left hand side uh, very much stands out within this cluster. And that's actually not a part of this cluster that is a foreground star within our own Milky Way. And it just happens to lie in the same direction as this globular cluster. So that star there really has nothing to do with this cluster and only has happens to lie along the same line of sight. And again, we lose that three dimensional effect to space. When we look out, it looks like everything is on this great sphere out in space. However, re in reality, it is actually three dimensional and things are at vastly different distances. As we see here with a much more nearby star laid almost on top of the much more distant globular cluster. So that was our picture of the day for January the 23rd of 2020. It was titled Globular Star Cluster NGC 6752. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Shadow Play. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.